Although I bought uh, I bought a Easy Cap 2.5 for like five dollars and sixty cents or ninety cents something like that off eBay. Um, it's a great little video capture device. I um, mean, it's pretty cheap. Um, I installed the CD and the program, and this is the only program that you need right here. And I clicked on the icon, and this is what I seen. Uh, actually, it looked more like this, um, and you can see yourself. And I, in my case, I had a VHS, and I was trying to record the VHS with this, to uh, so I could record it onto a DVD um, from my laptop and that. Well, uh, this is all I seen. I didn't see the movie, so I did some research. I found one video on YouTube. I can't remember who posted it off the top of my head. Um, so I'd like to say thank you to that, and I'm not trying to take no credit or nothing. Um, I thought it'd just be fun to have a little, like, fun to how-to video um, is all. Uh, so anyway, you want to click this setting here to fix this problem. And you want to um, change the MPEG-2 over to the DVD, uh, this one here. And then you want to go up to the video, click on that. You can mess with the settings if you like. Um, I didn't. I left them the way they are. And then you want to change this. This is important. I put mine on the NTS thing right here. And uh, after that, you come down here. And this is what changes your screen. So you can see the um, the video from like a VHS uh, camcorder or a DVD. And you want to put it to USB. And you should see the screen turn. There, it just turned. And uh, then after that, you want to go to audio, and you want to mess with the audio settings. Um, mine is speakers and the high tech, and um, then the microphone USB for the recording one. And that's what worked for me. Yours might be different. You just have to play with the settings. And then all you do is hit OK. And then after that, um, you should be able to see your movie right here that you're playing from like a VHS tape. Um, and then you want to click this record button and right here you should see a recording and when you're done you hit stop here and another screen will pop up here at the bottom somewhere and you would just want to click right click on the icon uh, on the picture icon you hit you click the right click you hit save as and I save mine to the desktop for easy access and uh, after that you just click off the pro this program here close everything down and you should be good to go to record it to DVD if that's what you're going to do. Um, myself, I did a DVD flick and it requires um, IMG Burn to help burn it. So you'll need those two programs. Um, there's a lot of videos on those on YouTube. Um, so I hope this helps you and subscribe and uh, hit like if you like this video and tell me what you think in the comments. Um, and I'd love to hear from you. Thank you.